Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tippett's with MajorGeeks.com. Take, take a look at a problem with your USB port where you pull out an external drive, a thumb drive, yet somehow it doesn't disconnect properly. So it actually can send USB packets back and forth, use up power, real pain in the butt if it's a laptop or a Microsoft Surface or something along that lines because it's consuming power. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a registry edit and we will press the Windows key plus R and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T and press OK. And because this is a real simple one, I've been asked a couple times from people, how do I back up my registry? File, export, and you can name it anything you like and save it where you know where it's at. And if you want to revert later, you can do file, import, and go back and double click the file and click open. It will restore your registry to where you left off. So now that you know that, quick and easy, Highlight this code right here, and as always, the link to this page will be in the video description. Clear this out and press Control V, and that's going to bring you down to USB Hub key, and we're going to go back and forth with you. So we want to right-click over USB Hub, create a new key, and name it HUBG. You can copy that if you want so you don't make a mistake, so right-click new notice that i right clicked over the word usb hub here and you can control v or type in hubg press enter now you have your new key next we want to create a new d word 32-bit value and name it disable on soft remove let's highlight that now once again most of the time when you create a new key over here it's almost always a D word 32-bit value almost always so as you can see we want to click now on our new hub G right here new D word 32-bit value control V disable on soft remove now we're gonna double click on that and verify that the hexadecimal is clicked here and change the value data to one, that's it. And you'll just have to reboot. So let's double click that. It is hexadecimal, I believe it is by default, but your value data is almost always zero. So press one, click okay. And now you can close all of that and reboot your computer and the problem should be solved with a USB port remaining active even after you safely removed the hardware. There you go, simple little bug fix. Pretty easy to do for any skill level, I believe. Give it a try, leave a comment, click the little logo down here to subscribe. We'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.